Hi everyone, this is Adrian Vrena speaking from Nonce and today I'm going to show you how to integrate wallet, wallet connect functionality with your Webflow project. Uh, the buttons are fully functional uh, and actually let me just show you. So when you click connect you have to scan it with your MetaMask, uh, connect to this website and there you can see your wallet address. When you click on it you can see the balance and the wallet address However, if you're going to change it in your app, it updates as well and it changes. It picks up the custom domain if you have it from ENS, it picks up your balance and uh, you can always switch the network. So if you're going to, actually I can even switch it in my phone as well, I think. Yeah, it's, it switches here. But you can also switch and you can see here that I have Matic balance now. Uh, but if I switch here, I just have to confirm and I in my app that I want to switch it and it switched. So how exactly did I do it? Um, there is a few things you will have to know and you will have to use. This is the first one, with JavaScript Webflow. Um, so you're gonna need this to uh, host your JavaScript code that you're gonna then implement in your Webflow. You're going to need wallet connect documentation because here's where the JavaScript code that you need is. Uh, you're going to need Webflow, some basic understanding of Webflow, uh, where we're going to have to add HTML embeds and custom code. And you're going to have to have a Netlify free account where you're going to, which, which you're going to use to host your code. So first, you have to clone this project to your uh, desktop and when you do it you have to open the folder with your uh, code editor. Uh, you go to main.js file, you delete everything that's in there and you just paste the code that you have here, this entire part. As you can see it's identical, it's the same thing. Once you have that you have to save it and you have to build it. Once you have it built, so you have the ready files. Oh, sorry, don't forget about the project ID. Uh, so as you can see, here is just a dummy, your project ID. You have to obtain it from here. It's very simple and it's free. So once you get that, just put it in here as well so that it's going to work. Uh, so once you're going to have the project saved and uh, built, you just host your files on the Netlify. Well, I actually have it connected to GitHub, but you can you can host it manually. So you just uh, go to your folder and upload the files that you have from the build. And then you're going to have it hosted on Netlify.app. When you click on it, it seems like it doesn't work. However, the only thing we're going to need from here is slash main.js, where our JavaScript file is hosted. And well, the code is slightly shorter because it's compiled, uh, but it's still readable by the browser. And this is exactly what we need. So you're, you, you're gonna want to copy this and go to your Webflow project, site settings all the way down and you paste it before body tag. So, and don't forget to put the module here. This is exactly where you paste it. And this is, this is going to enable Webflow to read the code that you have uh, built from the Wallet Connect. The other thing you cannot forget about is to add the buttons. So for example, here I have the Connect button. When you look into this HTML embed, you're going to see the Web3 Model Core button. And you can find it here. This is the Connect button. And you can find some more components here in the components. And by the way, I have used the vanilla HTML uh, and vanilla JavaScript in my project. If you're familiar with React, feel free to use React as well. It should, it should work the same. Uh, this is the other one I have used, Web3 Model Network Switch. So that's in the block here. So once you have that and your custom code, you just have to publish this. As you can see, it's on webflow.io so you don't even need your custom domain and it's there. I'm still connected because of the cookies but you can see when I disconnect I can connect it again. Let me just scan it, connect and there. 
Uh, I hope this is helpful and let me know in the comments if you want to see a full tutorial on how to do this. If you, if you find any difficulties, always happy to help and uh, feel free to reach out to me if you want me to help you with your integration. Speak to you later guys. Bye bye.